Good morning. This is Lou Vanderwig, pastor of the Goodland United Methodist Church. Thank you for joining me in this Christian devotion for Good Friday, April the 3rd, 2015, as part of the Good Neighbor Hour. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, while the sun's light failed and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. When the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly this man was innocent. And when all the crowds who had gathered there for this spectacle saw what had taken place, they returned home beating their breasts. But all his acquaintances, including the women who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance watching these things. Now there was a good and righteous man named Joseph, who, though a member of the council, had not agreed to their plan and action. He came from the Jewish town of Arimathea, and he was waiting expectantly for the kingdom of God. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then he took it down, wrapped it in a linen cloth, and laid it in a rock-hewn tomb, where no one had ever been laid. It was the day of preparation, and the Sabbath was beginning. The women who had come with him from Galilee followed, and they saw the tomb and how his body was laid. Then they returned and prepared spices and ointments. Luke 23 verses 44 through 56 could be just the story of the death and burial of an innocent man named Jesus. Many innocent men had been crucified on the hill called Golgotha. Jesus was different. He had claimed to be the Messiah, the Savior of the world. Many believed and followed him. They now were scattered and afraid. All was lost. Their king was dead. Some savior of the world, many mocked, he couldn't even save himself. All that is left to do is to wait until the Sabbath ends so his body can be anointed and his tomb can be sealed. This seems to be where those in Jesus' day believed the story ends. Still today, several world religions proclaim that this is where the story ends. Those who reject God's miracle of salvation believe this is a logical ending to the story. If this were the end of the story, the world would be a dark and hopeless place. We Christians do well to contemplate that fact as we prayerfully stand watch during the hours ahead. However, those who believe know the truth. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. On behalf of the Goodland United Methodist Church, this is Pastor Lou Vanderwig wishing you a good day filled with the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ.